Hey guys, we are going to add an improper fraction and a normal fraction, okay? Which this is just basically like adding two fractions, okay? Just my improper fraction, the top number is bigger than the bottom, okay? So to add these, unfortunately, I'm sorry, but our denominators have to be the same, okay? If you're wondering what happens if we don't get them the same, I'll link a video in the corner. Okay, so what I do is ask myself, what is the smallest number 10 and 6 both go into the fancy math term for that is least common multiple okay what's the smallest number they both go into and it is 30 okay so what i want is two fractions with denominators of 30 that i'm going to add together that are equal to these fractions right so what did i do to 10 to get it to be a 30 well i multiplied it by 3 right but I can't just go multiplying by three wherever I want. That would change my fraction, right? But what I can do is multiply by three over three. And the reason I can do that is because three over three simplifies down to one. So it's really like I'm just multiplying by one. It's just a weird looking one, right? So I'm changing what the fraction looks like, but not its value, okay? So then I go ahead and multiply three times 13 gives me 39. And three times 10 gives me that 30 I was looking for. Okay, now on the other side, what do I multiply 6 by to get 30? I multiply it by 5, right? But just like on the other side, I got to multiply by 5 over 5, okay? So that my fraction stays the same, all right? So 1 times 5 gives me 5. 6 times 5 gives me 30, okay? Now when I add these, my denominator stays the same, right? That's why we needed it to be the same. And then I add my numerator. So I get 39 plus 5, which gives me 44. Okay, now I want to simplify, okay? So I notice both of these numbers are even. So I can divide the top and the bottom by 2. If you need a refresher on simplifying fractions, I'll link a video in the corner. When I divide by 2 over 2, I get 22 over 15 okay now that is my simplified answer but we might also want to get it into a mixed number okay that's when you have one big number and a fraction next to it so to do that i ask myself how many times does 15 go into 22 well it just goes once right so that's my big number 15 goes into 22 once but it doesn't go evenly right how many are left over well there's seven left over that's my numerator and my denominator stays the same is 15. Okay. So 13 tenths plus one sixth gives me one and seven fifteenths. Hopefully that made sense. Thanks. Bye.